It is no secret that planets and moons in our solar system appear to have remnants of an advanced civilization left behind. The moon, Mars, Venus, and even Mercury are showing anomalies that are consistent with structural buildings that would have to be alien in origin. The cover-up is active, but every now and again, we see leaked photos that they forgot to block. The latest finding discovered in NASA's photos of Mercury are again showing something that can only be described as ancient structures on an alien world. Wait till you hear this. What these buildings are on Mercury is completely unknown, but it is almost certain that this photo is showing something that was built by a lost alien civilization. You can clearly see large areas that are edited out in the image. Of the edited area, you can also see shadows. These shadows are possibly caused by giant buildings on Mercury that have been edited from public viewing. You can also see what appears to be a hangar of sorts, much like we see at Air Force bases or airports here on Earth. We are clearly seeing something anomalous in the photo, a giant structure that is a possible outpost of the Anunnaki. The story of the Anunnaki, the oldest in the world, concerns the birth of the gods and the creation of the universe and human beings. In the beginning, there was only undifferentiated water swirling and chaos. Out of this swirl, the waters divided into sweet, fresh water, known as the god Apsu, and salty, bitter water, the goddess Timat. Once differentiated, the union of these two entities gave birth to the younger gods. The Enuma Elish would later be the inspiration for the Hebrew scribes who created the text now known as the Biblical Book of Genesis. Prior to the 19th century, the Bible was considered the oldest book in the world and its narratives were thought to be completely original. In the mid-19th century, however, European museums as well as academic and religious institutions sponsored excavations in Mesopotamia to find physical evidence for historical corroboration of the stories in the Bible. The excavations found quite the opposite. However, in that once cuneiform was translated, it was understood that a number of biblical narratives were Mesopotamian in origin. Famous stories such as the fall of man and the great flood were originally conceived and written down in Sumer, translated and modified later in Babylon, and reworked by the Assyrians before they were used by the Hebrew scribes for the versions which appear in the Bible. Although the basic paradigm of the biblical narratives and the Mesopotamian stories align closely. Life that may exist or may have existed in the solar system beyond that of Earth is a critical question with no apparent clear answer. But if you consider that NASA anomalies through the years and the history of life on Earth, then the conclusive answer to such a question must be yes. Life exists beyond Earth there really is no other plausible answer. The search for extraterrestrial life encompasses many fundamental scientific questions. What are the basic requirements for life? Could life have arisen elsewhere in the solar system? Are there other planets like Earth? How likely is the evolution of intelligent life? It makes sense that we would find traces of other intelligent activity from the distant past. Taking into consideration the size of the time scale compared to the existence and presence of human beings on Earth, then you would have to consider it impossible for nothing intelligent to have ever happened before us. On Earth, we have ancient depictions of beings that would appear otherworldly to us in the modern day and age. Examples of this being the very curious deity Yash Kukmo, 
whose name connects him with the city of Tikal. Some descriptions of Yashkukmo present him in Teotihuacan attire and adornments. His goggles are associated with the rain god Tlaloc, venerated in the city of Teotihuacan, which also link him to that region. The goggles, which some writers have speculated are proof of ancient alien activity in the rise of the Mayan civilization, as they resemble pilot's goggles, are not eye protection, but rather part of the king's ceremonial headdress, or so it is said. If you consider that the gods we worship are in fact otherworldly beings, which we believe anyway, and further consider that these beings are not divine, but a technologically advanced civilization, then these anomalies that don't make much sense, at least start to make a little bit more sense, at least. The ancient structures of Earth that we know nothing about should be a basis for us to accept that intelligent life has visited the planets of this solar system in the remote past. Not only visiting, but apparently setting up the buildings that we are now discovering too much confusion. The smoking gun evidence is staring right at us in the face here on Earth, but when we find it on other planets, we surely must be living in an age of disclosure of the truth behind our civilization. Perhaps these beings have never left us alone, but rather they are monitoring us all the time in our struggle to understand what exactly us humans are even doing here. Existence on Earth must be more than work, rest, play, repeat. In the grand scale of things, it doesn't even make any sense what we are doing on this planet on a daily basis. It's crazy and you have to wonder what is the point in everything and what was here before us. Of course there must be answers, but for now at least we have the questions. You guys can let us know what you make of the discoveries of these strange things on Mercury. Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.